Hi Scorpio and welcome to your case of the X tower reading for February 2018. You are the last reading I'm doing for case of the X so let's see what is in store for you guys. Everybody's reading has been quite different. I'm going to pull a card. Oh look at that. Right away Scorpio, know your intuition is off the charts in February. Um, I'm going to pull a card here to represent what is still keeping you connected or attached or hung up to or on your ex. What is going on? Well, we have love. So, either Scorpio, either you are still very much in love with your ex or perhaps that's your ex's energy and they're very much in love with you. It could go either way. Sometimes you could come to this video to be like, how do I get rid of my ex? Others of you are coming here to be like, I'm still in love and I want to reconcile. Is that going to happen? So, so far, the reason why we're still hung up on the ex is because we genuinely loved them. There was a genuine love connection. Or if you are not the one that's hung up in this way, then that would be your ex's energy towards you. I think, yeah, and Virgo had that as well. So, Scorpio, your energy is coming through as the temple path and the sun in February. So, what I see happening here is, and look at, you have the number 12 twice, and then we have a 1. So, I feel like if there's anything you've been in the dark about or that you didn't know about in regards to your ex in February, like it's definitely, I would say because we have one and then we have the, the 12, which is a one and a two. And so one plus two is three. I would say between like January and all the way into March, you are just going to receive information because look at, we have the three orbs here as well. You're just going to come into information or you're going to come into an understanding per and perspective about the ex that you did not have previously. So let's pull their energy to see what's going on with them. All right, I feel like that's stop. We have action and community and look at that they have a 17 and then a 7 so you're like a 1 and a 12 and there is 17 and a 7 so you guys are on way different vibes in February way different um, waves of energy I'm gonna say based on these cards it looks like your ex may be the reason like the one that left you and um, it looks like to be more with like friends, family, to go out, to be kind of more of a free spirit. Um, I don't see any other romance energy really coming through with those cards. So let's pull um, a card to look specifically at your energy and there's like what's going on inside of you. So, you know, with this card and the temple path, some of you, if this was a really, like, heavy, challenging breakup for you, some of you are either receiving a lot of support in February, or if you're not, you need to start asking for others. You need to reach out to others to help you mend and get through this if you are having a hard time with the breakup, okay? Okay. And, um, <laughs> yeah, they're showing over here, like, your ex could be very attractive. And I would like to point out that we have 27 now. So we have seven, so 7, 17, and 27. So there's this progression of energy with your ex. Um, many of you, this ex is very attractive, very alluring. And 
In fact, they might be playing games with you a little bit and trying to be all sexy and looking like they're out there having a good time to make you jealous. Um, the energies between the two of you are like night and day. You look like you're trying to heal. You're trying to mend. We do have the sun here, so there is some sort of new beginning for you taking place in February in regards to, you know, the heaviness or turmoil that you've been going through emotionally. But I really feel, Scorpio, like from January through March, like just a bunch of information is going to come to you, whether it's through other people or psychically, somehow, some way, it's just like everything's going to come to light, okay? And um, we have the circular disc here and then the temple path that it's circular. So something is coming full circle, all right? And there's newness for you here. But as far as the X goes, it looks like they're just uh, like out partying, hanging out with people, socializing, just diff way different energy than you, okay? They're not, they don't look like they're sitting at home crying, that's for sure. So, um, at least not in this reading, this X, no, no. So let's pull some tarot cards to see how this energy between you and your ex plays out in um, February 2018. Oh Okay, so we have the Palace of Swords. Some of you, this could be that you had to, like you're moving to a new place in February. Okay, because I said there's something new here. And the Palace of Swords is actually like a really nice house. So let's see. Or you're just extremely stuck in your head um, thinking about things and analyzing things. Yeah, you're really thinking about, like, this is truly over. Like, it's never going to happen again. Mm. But we have this Ace of Wands, so let's see. Oh, my goodness. And then we have this Palace of Coins, this Nine of Cups, and then this Reverse Seven of Wands. Scorpio. So we have the Palace of Swords and the Palace of Coins. They're both very nice pieces of real estate. So perhaps you're moving from one into the other. This could be that you were living in the city and now you're going to go live more in like a country type or a woodsy, mountainy type of setting um, or vice versa. Or you were in the city and now it's more the suburbs. But with this Ace of Wands here, You know, there's kind of two things playing out. Um, some of you, there's this, there's an ex, like, I don't know. If they just outright left you, even if they did, I don't know, Scorpio. What I feel like is in February, like, you've given up on the fact that you guys are going to ever get back together. But then with this Ace of Wands, like, you might, um, they might call you because... They want to hook up, okay? And so be weary or they might call you because they want something. And because I feel like you really want to work things out with them, your defenses are down and you're going to, you know, be open to that. But I don't know that that is the best thing for you, Scorpio. So let's pull more cards and see. But so far, I'm just, I'm not sure that just based on their energy, the way they're coming through, it's like I'm out partying, I'm out having fun, I'm out doing all these things. And I think because they know if you are a Scorpio who still really is wanting your ex back, and they know that, they might be trying 
to use that to manipulate you to get something that they want. So we have healing family issues, free yourself, and very soon. Yeah, listen, Scorpio, there's other things like on the horizon for you and whether that's love or <clears throat> like a job or a house relocation um, there's other things on the horizon for you that you should be focused on and there's support around you you just need to open up and also you know you can open up to the higher power if you haven't already but I just feel like there's other things for you and if they're trying to come back around at all it's to get something from you. And that might be your wish. Like, I, I really want them in my life. I don't care. But it's not really. Like, you need to free yourself. You need to mend yourself and then let yourself be free of this person. And you need to decide that very soon. Because there's just new changes unfolding for you. And whoever this ex is, like, I don't feel like they are a part of that. Okay? They, I just don't feel like they're a part of where you're headed. And because we do have the Palace of Swords and the Palace of Coins, um, this could, one could indicate your ex and then the other one indicate a new relationship that's coming in. Um, with the Swords, that would be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And with the Earth energy here, that could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. So... Those could definitely represent the old, and then now there is new or really strong about house movement relocation. Maybe you're gonna, maybe you're still with <laughs> this person in, in February. By the time February comes, you've decided that they're gonna be your ex and you're freeing yourself. So, and you're moving somewhere new. But let's see, what is the advice for Scorpio in regards to their ex for February 2017? Conflict and chaos and fork in the road. So, um, yeah, Scorpio, no. If, if ex is showing up or calling you, oh, I miss you, uh-uh, don't even, don't, don't. I promise you are not going to like the outcome because I don't feel based on any of the cards that have come out that it's in earnest like I don't the nine of cups is a positive card upright the ace of wands is also a positive card upright but everything that follows that is basically saying like yeah this is you want this new beginning and you're hoping for it and maybe you gave up hope that you guys would ever even talk again and then all of a sudden here they are in February telling you that they miss you or whatever the case may be and Scorpio I don't feel like it's because that's how they really feel and you'll know it your intuition is extremely strong and the truth will come to light okay but don't allow them or anything that they're doing to emotionally impact you and cause you to come into a state of confusion or, you know, imbalance because they're knocking at your door again. Tell them goodbye. <laughs> bye, bye. No, you are no good. It is time to free yourself, Scorpio. So that is the messages and information I have for you regarding your ex for the month of February. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and I'm wishing you all the best, Scorpio. Take care.